Well, hey again, everybody. This is Alex. I'm just uh, home today, you know. The sun is chirping. The birds are out. And I decided to stay inside today and watch uh, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. And I came to kind of a uh, disturbing realization about Star Trek. And uh, it seems that they only like to hire slaves to be the black people on their show. Um, slaves and, and people who've been in black exploitation movies. I understand that if you're a black actor, you know, it's kind of hard to avoid, but, uh, it's kind of bizarre, and I'm going to give you every example from Star Trek that I can think of, and I, I can assure you, your mind will be thoroughly blown. So, uh, we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to start with the original series, and we had Michelle Nichol Nichols, who played, uh, Lieutenant O'Hura. And she was in Truck Turner with Isaac Hayes. I mean, it's like, what the truck? <laughs> um, so then, you know, we've got, uh, that's going to move us up to Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Paul Winfield was in that, okay? Paul Winfield has been in every, like, black exploitation slave movie in the 70s. I'm pretty sure he was in all of them. Um, you know, from Roots to I Know Why the Cage Word Sings, which, it has Cicely Tyson, she's... I don't think she's ever played anything but a slave in her career anyway. So, then we've got, uh, let's see, that's going to move us up to Next Generation. And Next Generation has the original slave in it. Uh, Kunta Kente himself, LeVar Burton, played, uh, uh, what's this, the, 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 the guy with the, who flew the ship, the blind guy, I can't even remember his name, it doesn't really matter. Uh, all he ever did was suck on that show anyway. Uh, so let's see, then we've got, uh, that brings us up to Deep Space Nine. Now, you might think that what I'm about to say is blasphemy. Everybody loves Avery Brooks. I mean, he's the best. Uh, unfortunately, though, he was also in the sequel to Roots. Yeah, I didn't know it. Roots had a sequel. It's Roots 2, Electric Boogaloo. No, it's Roots 2, it's not Roots 2, it's Roots the Gift, and it's got something to do with Christmas. Avery Brooks is in it, and he plays a slave. Not kidding you. Not kidding you. So then, hey, wait, there's more. Alright, so then we've got, uh, Star Trek Voyager. Now, you're thinking, what, who's on Voyager? <laughs> I can't even remember his name. The Black Vulcan Guy. Yeah, that's right. The second in commander. Oh, no, he wasn't the second in command. He was a security officer. That's right. The Black Vulcan. Tuvok! Tuvok, not to be confused with Tupac, who never played a slave in any of his careers. Um, but we're talking about Tuvok. He was in Roots 2, Electric Boogaloo, with Avery Brooks. I'm not kidding you. This is for real. Now, you might think, oh, this is kind of ridiculous what's going on. Okay, so fine, then let's go... Let's go, all right, to Enterprise. Okay, there was a black guy on there, but he wasn't really important. He was kind of insignificant. But guess what? You know what? I can't even remember his name. I think it was Anthony Montgomery. He was in Leprechaun in the Hood with some rappers. It doesn't really matter. Black exploitation. Totally exploited for the good of the blacks. Now, I think that pretty much covers everything. You know, there's a the little Jake Sisko, he doesn't count for anything. I space black, little white kid, he's about as black as I am. And uh that only leaves one more. Michael Dorn. Now you might go, oh Michael Dorn, he's about the biggest black guy you can possibly find on Star Trek, but you know what? He's never played a slave in any movie that he's been in, any movie or TV show, and I have to give him respect for that. Until I started looking it up and I found out that he directed an episode of Hope and Faith. He's working for two white women.